So I'm going to make the tire. All right. So here I am just back at home. Got my three planes. So I'm going to start a sketch on the front plane. I'm going to hit P to hide my other planes. And I'm going to create a circle. Now, as we do this tire, there's no dimension sheet for it. So you have to pay attention to these dimensions. So this outside of the tire is going to be 1.625 inches. That's the outside diameter of this tire. Now to get the thickness of it, I'm going to hit the offset tool. Click here, but hit the arrow so it's offset on the inside. I'll press enter and I want this offset to only be 0.1. It's this tiny little offset here. I'm actually going to finish the sketch, extrude out just the rim there, but I want it to be, be careful here, not blind. I want it to be symmetric. I want it to go in both directions. 0.5. So hit the green check mark, and there's my tire. The reason I want it to be symmetric is now when I go turn the front plane back on by hitting this little eyeball here, I have a plane that runs through the center of my tire, which is going to be crucial for accomplishing this tire construction. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch on that mid plane. So not on the front of the tire, but on this front plane. So I'm working in the middle still not on the front edge. So as I take a look at this, what we're going to have to do first is I want to actually offset from this inside edge. So I'm going to click that inside edge. I'm going to come to the inside, and this is a tiny, tiny offset of 0.03. So this real little in intersection here. Then I'm actually going to hit U, which is the Use button, and I actually want to grab this yellow line here, this orange one on the inside edge, click that. So now I've actually got two circles there because it made another one for me. Now, I'm going to grab the line tool, turn on construction because I actually need a vertical line to run right up through the center vertically. And you'll see why in a second I need this. So now I'm going to take my regular line tool, so not construction anymore. I turn that off and I'm going to slap a line out here. I'm going to do another line on the other side. I'm going to hit the dimension tool and I'm going to dimension and say that the angle from here to this dotted line, so I drag it out, so it gives me an angle now, is only four degrees. Same thing on the other side, from this line to the dotted line, drag my angle out, is four degrees. So I've got these four degree angles in here. What I really want is this little awkward section. So I'm going to hit the trim tool and I'm going to start trimming away the material I don't want. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. I don't want this one or this one or this whole circle or this whole circle. So all I'm left with is that little, it's not a rectangle. It's got curves to it, but it kind of looks like a rectangle. So when I get that left, I'll hit the check mark and I'm going to extrude that little nubby. Oh, not like that. I want it to be symmetric again, but I'm only going to extrude it 0.4, not 0.5 this time. And see how we get this little nub? I'll hit the green check mark. So now I've got one nub. I need a lot more patterns. So the circular pattern button is right here in the drop down. So I'll choose circular pattern. We've done circular patterns before, but I don't want a circular pattern the part. I want a circular pattern a feature. Well, what feature, you say? That extrusion. Then it wants to know what axis are you rotating around. So I'll click that. I just need to click the edge of the circle so it rotates around. So you can see there's four of them. I actually want 15 of them. I hit the check mark. Now I've got 15 nubbies. We are almost done, actually. So there's one more. There's a, a ridge that runs right through the center of the tire. So I'm going to hit sketch. Start here on this plane again, not on the front, on the mid plane again. So, so I'm still in the middle. And if I zoom in here, all I'm going to do, I'm going to hit use again. Use. And I want this edge again. I like that edge. So we'll get that circle going. And then I'm going to create one offset it again on the inside. So flip the direction around. And this is going to be a tiny, tiny, tiny one. I'm going to go 0.01. Real little. And see how we get this little ridge here? 
So now that I've got that little ridge, I'll hit the green check mark, hit the extrude button, and I'm going to take that little ridge. I'm going to extrude it again symmetrically. And I believe it's 0.01 as well. Oh, I took something extra. Let's not do that. 0.01 as well. So now you can see we've got that little ridge that runs through our tire there. And that's how you make the tire.